Welcome back, everyone. Come with me on a trip to yesteryear, a time when things were simpler. Remember back way, way, way back, practically ancient history. The year was 2018. The president at the time was Donald J. Trump. He had just nominated Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. This angered Democrats and their media because they wanted to be the one to nominate the Supreme Court justice. In order to stop Trump's nomination, they found a disturbed lady with an unverified claim that lacked any credibility. The media used this woman's claims to inspire national marches and weeks on end of outrage. Attempted rape or sexual There's no assault. evidence besides one so you're story. Saying, are we back to you saying you don't necessarily believe Dr. Ford? I think rape culture is so pervasive that it's possible that he's not lying and still did it. The woman who says Kavanaugh tried to rape her, the woman who says Kavanaugh exposed himself to her. She said that she remembered that Brett Kavanaugh tried to rape her and put his hand over her mouth so she couldn't scream. Kavanaugh held her down and she thought he was going to rape her. I believe he was going to rape me. I believed he was going to rape me. I believed he was going to rape me. The most serious uh, allegation that Kavanaugh aided and abetted in the commission of a gang rape. Gang rapes and excessive drinking and aggressive behavior from Brett Kavanaugh. And a participant in a gang rape. Gang Gang rape. Gang rape. Gang rape. Gang rape. Gang rape in which this the, the Supreme Court nominee participated. When they raise their hand, they're going to have to know that I am raising my hand yay, knowing that a woman stood before the Senate accusing this nominee of rape. Despite six previous FBI investigations that found nothing, the media declared that Brett Kavanaugh was guilty. If you watch this channel, you saw through the ruse from the start. It was obviously being done for political reasons, and these standards would obviously be cast aside the second one of their own was being accused. Me too, unless they're blue. Our suspicions were confirmed, as a particular Me Too accusation began gaining steam on right-leaning and independent media. Yet strangely, remained completely absent from all the so-called mainstream media networks, including ABC, NBC, CBS, PBS, MSNBC, and CNN. Strangely, people People who once claimed all women must believe were now rearranging the phrase to be all women must be heard. As you know, uh, there was an accusation of misconduct against Joe Biden. Are you satisfied with his answer? Yes, I am. Women deserve uh, to be heard. Uh, I am satisfied with his answer, yes. Biden himself said that all women should be believed, but of course we all know that only applies to his political opposition. Look, we all knew that this was going to come once the media dismissed all those videos of Biden sniffing and inappropriately touching people. Videos that creep out normal people. One video in particular, a video you could call evidence of a crime, was being buried by a certain news network to protect Joe Biden. Thanks to the Media Research Council, we now have that video for all to see. It's an old clip from a Larry King episode where the victim's mother called in to discuss what had happened to her daughter. We're back. A couple more phone calls on this very important topic. Our guests are former United States Senator Howard Baker, Richard Allen, former National Security Advisor, and Lois Romano of the Washington Post. San Luis Obispo, California. Hello. Yes, hello. Um, I'm wondering what um, a, a, a staffer uh, would do, do besides go to the press in Washington. My daughter has just left there uh, after working for a prominent senator and could not get through with her problems at all. And the only thing she could have done was go to the press, and she chose not to do it out of respect for him. Or she had a story to tell, but out of respect for the person she worked for, she didn't tell it. That's true. Well, now, but these are the people who do come to the Lois Romanos, right? The mm -hmm. staff worker who says, I want to let you know about what's going this on, either with my boss or trouble. the guy down the hall. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these people have a sense of obligation. They feel that this public official should be accountable if it's something wrong. They're whistleblowers to the press. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks to the very same Media Research Council, we now have actual data to back up what we're seeing, or rather, not seeing. This study covers all media coverage from March 25th to April 27th. As you can see, ABC and NBC have straight up ignored the story, even after this video was released, which is quite contrary to their coverage of Brett Kavanaugh. While CBS, MSNBC, and PBS devoted a couple minutes apiece on the story, nothing after the video came out. CNN has ignored the story up until their video 
was found. Even then, they've only spent a scant 15 minutes on it. ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN, and MSNBC all had interviews with Biden, yet out of 77 total questions, not a single one was about his accuser. Like I said earlier, all of this is happening in stark contrast to what we saw in 2018 regarding Brett Kavanaugh. An MRC study at the time showed that the network media was spending a ridiculous amount of time on the unverified baseless accusations against Kavanaugh. MRC's research director said, quote, during the 12 days since Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein publicly announced the existence of an unspecified allegation against Brett Kavanaugh, the ABC, CBS, and NBC morning and evening shows have spent nearly six hours, that's 344 minutes, regurgitating various unproven allegations against the Supreme Court nominee. Six hours! And that was just in the first 12 days. We haven't even reached 20 minutes in the combined network coverage since March 25th of the allegations against Joe Biden, proving once again that the standards these hacks pretend to have are merely theater done for political expediency. This is just one fake reporter, but you can find the exact same contradiction throughout the so-called mainstream media. Just another example to turn off your TV and do your own research. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, please check out these links, which you can find in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back. Oh.